G-Speed Shuttle Thunderbolt 3. This is 24 terabytes. Let's unbox this. This is so big, the enclosure, that it comes with its own handle. Power cable. I think the power distributor is built inside the casing, which is good. So you don't have to have another big brick power adapter that all the drives used to have because they couldn't contain the how they distribute the power or regulate the power back in the day. Our kit okay, comes with a little cable, Thunderbolt 3 cable. What else? Oh, some cushions. Oh, this is nice. This It's a sticky rubber feet. I'll put that on later. Oh, it already has rubber feet. Looks like those were extra. So they, they come with extra rubber feet that stick on. Okay, so there's a lock here. Ah, that's the bay door or has the four drives. That's nice. Pull out the drives here. These come with enterprise drives. You want to get, you always want to get enterprise drives when you buy raids if you're editing video. Wow, very simple. Before this, I've had the previous G, what is this one? G Raid Studio. This is an eight terabyte. And at the time, this is just tape I put on here that I can't get off. I gotta have specific, I should have bought specific tape because I label my drives. Just use some poor, poor tape. But this was the setup that G Studio released before this one. And I like this. This is the Thunderbolt 2. This was a fairly nice setup. Great system. And then you just clicked it and on the top you have the two drives. The other ones had four drives that were thicker. And I guess this was supposed to match those trash can Macs, Mac Pros that came out. Little handle here. This was nice. So I like this upgrade. They make a eight bay, but I got the smaller one because I didn't need that much space. There's the connection. So you got two Thunderbolt three ports. Well, that's the G-Speed Shuttle unboxing. If I have any problems with it, I'll make an update to this video. But otherwise, this is serve, hopefully is gonna serve my purpose well for editing a small little documentary. And with 24 terabytes that comes out, if I'm using, I'm gonna use RAID 5, that comes out to about 16.75 gigabytes of actual, terabytes of actual use, or around there, or maybe 18.